Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thanks for coming to watch my video. In this video, that this is what I will be teaching you how to make this Ankara Zara cap. I call it three in one Ankara Zara cap. It is made with Ankara fabric and can be worn in three different ways. You can see how I'm giving you the style back to back. So this video is going to be in two parts. This is the first part and the second part will be uploaded immediately after this video after this video so check the description box to see the video to see the link direct link to the video and if you are yet to subscribe to my channel please click on the subscribe button now and subscribe thank you in this video what we're going to be teaching you is how to make our zara cap yeah you know when it comes to zara cap you mind you should not be only familiar with one design you must be creative you must really apply your creativity to anything you do it when it comes to headway or something like this all right let me introduce me the materials we're going to be using i will be making use my ankara fabric i have made a dress for this zara cap and i use this to make my dress i i'm also a fashion designer so if you if you, after this video maybe you come and came across um, the dress and my zara cap and if you want us to make for you we are available. We just buy the fabric here, send, make the dress, and also make the Zara car for you. So we are good to go. <laughs> All right, I'm serious now. Don't be like, I'm not serious. <laughs> I make dress. I also make headwear. So I will be using these two years of Queen Lime. I will finish it. And the six inches, my Marco is no too thick and it's not flexible so i'll be using making use of this marker for it to cut it out so you you if you uh you should buy the quarter it's going to be enough for you you can even see like two to three to make your zaka from that quarter i'll be using this fabric is a crepe you can make use of your satin brother satin my hot little and my big sisters are gone with scissors and tape Need on thread if there is any other materials going to be using during the course of this production, I will let you know. So for the for the zero cap, the one I'm going to put a marker inside. I cut out 25 inches for the length. You know that uh, is not a stretchy fabric. So I cut out 25 inches for the length and for the width I cut out 17 inches. 25 inches for the extra conference side. By 20 by 17 inches so i'm going to fold it into two and notch the center of this fabric and also get my marker and mark the center with anything so i've notched the center of this fabric now i'll also get the okay for the length of this marker i'm using 18 inches for the length and for the width i'm using tv and quarter TV and quarter, is it quarter now? Um, three quarter, be what is it called? TV and <laughs> I'm so sorry, this is TV. It's, it's not up to TV and a half, you can see it's not up to TV and a half. All right, so I'm going to get the center 18 inches now, will be nine, nine inches. That is right by two, nine inches. So I'm going to mark the center. So I've got in the center of my marker. Now I'm going to place it like this. Apply my gum on this edge like that. You can leave about one inch away. The Ankara. You know, it is, we have the even method of sewing, of making our Zara cup. Anyway, anyone that suits you, you can just work on any method, you know you will also work on so i'm going to apply my gum on it and use this one to glue it yeah i've applied my glue to it following the center of the let the center of the marker align with the center of the fabric and this is the wrong side this is the wrong side why right, this is the right side so i'm going to do it this way okay you see very easy. Don't manage your gum when it comes to this. Make sure it's 
we use it generously. So I'm going to do it this way. So before I do it that way, so I'm going to flip it over like this. You know, I've already glued that. It's be easy for me to flip over. So you can just go ahead to sew like this, like this, and the edge, close to the edge. But I'm not going to sew. I'll be applying my glue. You hope you understand me. If you don't want to apply glue just like the way I want to do now, you can just sew at the side. We have the marker stop at the side. And this, you make your fabric to be necessary a little bit so that you can able to sew on it just to secure the marco inside this fabric so but i'm not going to i'm not going to sew please and please if you don't understand any parts just make sure you ask question don't mind me no i have this gold inside for a long time i'm not be using it that's why i'm making use of this time to use it because I need a lot of gun to do this. Now, yeah, good to go. When you were gluing this to this marker, make sure you glue this side. I didn't glue it inside the video, the video I made earlier. So make sure you glue inside. And also when you are gluing this side too, make sure you apply your gum here. So try to dress this well that you able to firm to be firm and if your fabric is rough make sure you eye on it before you make before you do something like this especially when you are gluing you are applying glue so now we are good to go yeah it is firm and i love it it's firm and i love it Just make it neat hmm? okay you see the outside part so now we're going to turn it to the wrong side. Now flip it to the wrong side. Use your office pin to pin it. So now we're going to mirror from here to now mirror like three inches from here. Or let me say five inches. Five inches. Just cough it like this. That's the way you sew your turban, the same way. So that is the way we are going to sew. For, for the band, let me explain how you are going to sew the band. Alright, for the band, we're going to be adding elastic because this is not a stretchy fabric and we want it to fit all edges for adults. So, I'm going to measure 10 inches. Normally, we should also measure like 11 inches, 11 and a half. But since I want to add elastic to it, I'm going to be measure 10 inches and I have here yeah, 10 inches. We can measure it on the wrong side, uh, on the right side. Because we are going to be sewing on the right side, you can mirror it on the right side. So, but, and we are going to be having elastic case, elastic casing. I have six inches here, and the width I mirror the width for this. I mirror the same width for it. Yeah, almost the same width, almost the same width with this. So it should it's also be seven and a half. I got seven inches. That's why it is a little bit shorter. So, and for the elastic, I have three and a half inches, six inches by three and a half inches. Now, I'm going to turn it, turn it to the wrong side. After turning to the wrong side, I'm going to place it like this. Hope you are seeing what I'm doing. I'm going to sew. I will sew like this. And so, I will leave about one inch or one and a half inches to turn it out. I will sew to this. So when getting to this place, I will take it and draw it like this so that I can meet up to this edge and I will to sew. I hope you understand. Let me first of all go and sew this so I can show you how I'm going to sew this. I will sew this leave about one inch to turn it out. All right, now here is what I said I sewed. 
you are sewing so like two to three times so that it won't easily cut out so i sewed i leave about one inch to turn it out and sew it to this side now i'm going to sew this side so i will bring the elastic to this side can you see and i'm going to sew yeah after sewing the way i said it so you're going to turn it out can use something pointed to turn it out from where you let it open. So this is how this is how going to be. Now I'm, I'm not going to leave this open. I'm going to top stitch on it and so. Now I have it sewn. This is it. So I'm going to take it like this on the wrong side. Let me open this up so that you can see what I'm trying to do. On the wrong side, I'm going to adjust this thing very well. I'll adjust the edge very well. And I will place it like this on the 10 inch I marked out. And I will sew on it. The same apply to this side. I'm going to take this side to our adjust it. And sew to the other side. Ah, I've stored it. So the elastic to the cap and this is it so this is the outside part this is the inside Can you see so i would like to see this you know i said the elastic should be three and a half make, make it three inches why the elastic case make it five and a half to reduce it so because when it is too long it will not be fair now it can size anybody now when, even when you make it great and you want it to cover the braid you can easily do that like i don't know is it braid or any any ear that you make that stand at the back of your head so you can easily go on it i don't know maybe you can get what i'm trying to say all right now so we're going to sew the wrong side so i'm going to sew it from this side from this side i will sew it leaving about half inch so that if i want to weave it I can use that half inch to weave it. <coughs> now I have it sewn. Can you see? So you can just take it to the weaving machine and weave it to make it neat inside. Now I'm going to turn it out. So before you turn it out, sorry, let us do our own stitch on it. We started the only stitch from here to the other end. So make sure you weave your Zaraka before you do the running stitch. So after the running stitch, we just go ahead to turn it out and we have something like this. So you can easily, can you see how it's adjustable? Can you see? So this is going to look and you go ahead. So just add the design to it. So you can decide to reduce this and you can even make it higher than this. It all depends on your choice. Now I'm going to look for how I'm going to attach the design to the back. And we did to go.